What's up family, my name is Marco or Macaran and you may or may not know me from different tournaments from MK11 like Rips Arena, not very good and ESL and other community tournaments. I've been playing the game since release and mainly played Scarlet but Cetron was my secondary for over a year now, probably like one and a half years now. She is the character I put in the second most time into after Scarlet. That means I've got plenty of knowledge on how to fight against her and how to play her as a character too. And in this video I will be showing you how to deal with the most oppressive aspects of the character to help you not break your controller that quickly. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for my character guides and check out the website for all things FGC. And let's get into the video. A quick summary of what type of character Cetrion is. Cetrion excels at so many things in the game, like she is one of the best zoning by far. So it is really hard to zone her or counter zone her at all. Adding on top of the zoning, she also has insane rush down, which leads into basically infinite pressure as long as she resends you and makes the right read. So her pressure game is also very very strong. And when the opponent gets close, she doesn't really struggle because of her great pokes and keep away tools. She also has very very good spacing with her standing 1-1, one, one, forward 1 and her rock wall. That allows you to play the game very creatively and the way you want to play her. So you could play her mainly as a zoner and not ever want to go in and just keep them out all the game. Or you can go in more and just try to rush them down and pressure them until they lose. Or find balance between those two options and keep your distance at the mid spacing and, and just maneuver between quick zoning and quick rush down which is why I think that her playstyle is pretty versatile and it allows you to play the game the way you want to play it. Her movement is also a big part of what allows her to play the game she wants to play so she can switch between zoning and rush down very easily because of the movement she has. So one, one second she's there and one second she's in your face. And every time she hits you it basically guarantees a follow up with either a rock wall, a shimmy or a grab. So you gotta guess three ways, always. She doesn't really have a space where she struggles to play the game. Whenever she is at a quote unquote bad spacing, she can change it in an instant and catch you off guard. So she really is a character that excels at almost everything in the, in the game. Great zoning, great rush down, great buttons, great uh, frame data. And yeah, just overall a very, very solid character. She is top 2 for a reason, <laughs> you know what I mean? When it comes to the variations, you will mostly see this one. This basically became the main variation since the custom patch. She gets the Earthquake, which is a double hitting low special move that she can cancel on the first hit as well to get more pressure or follow up with anything. The other one is the uh, Deadly Winds. It is used for pressure up close that allows you to either go for a grab or go for more buttons. And the last one is a teleport, which is one of the best teleports in the game. Debatably the best one. The fact that she can do it from the air is actually insanely huge, especially as a zoner who has aerial projectiles. This allows her movement to be even more crazy than it already is. And she also can fake out the teleport, teleport far, teleport close. A lot of different things she can do with it. It's just basically one of the best special moves in the game. And all of those three special moves combined um, with her base kit, like the rock wall and the, the beam, make her one of the best characters in the game. Even though Cetrion is such a great character with so many great tools, she also has some weaknesses and some exploitable aspects about her offense. To beat her, you need a combination of the right knowledge and the right reads, which I will talk about all in, the, in this video. So the main weak point she has is that she can't deal a lot of damage once at a time. So she has to do it over and over again to get a decent amount of damage. She's not like she's gonna hit you for like 30% for one touch, you know? Uh, but if she hits you like 3 times in a row, it's gonna be like 40% already, so yeah. That's why you shouldn't be too afraid of taking risks against her. In the end, everything she does is a rock paper scissor uh, interaction, so you will have to take risks at some point, otherwise you'll just get chipped out or grabbed to death. 
So she risks less, but it gets also less reward for it. If you make the right video on one of her punishes, you can get a decent amount of damage on her. Per average, you will hit her for 30 to 35%. Um, combined with the 950 health, that's quite a lot. So that's what I would say is the main weakness that she has to touch you a lot of times and she dies in like free combos to most characters. But yeah, it's not the, the easiest thing to land a combo on Cetrion. It is still the main weakness I would say she has because other than that, she there really isn't much. It is the 950 health aspect of her and the fact that she doesn't hit you for like 50% per touch. Besides the KB she has. Obviously if she hits you over 2 and 3 KB, it's gonna be a lot of damage. So let us get into how to punish our individual strings and buttons. The main string you're gonna need to know how to punish is a forward 2 free into either winds or wall. When she cancels a string into the winds, the only option you got is to flawless block it. Doing it too slowly will make the winds beat you up too. So just do it as quickly as possible and you'll be fine. Then she can start reading the flawless block and catch you trying to flawless block with the rock wall. In order to punish the rock wall, you need to flawless block the second hit. And then it's minus 14, so it's your return to punish. If you got a 7 frame jab, you can actually interrupt the amplified. Rainbow doesn't have a 7 frame uh, standing one, so you can't do it. Uh, but he has a 7 frame down one, so he can interrupt it that way. And then if she tries to bait your flawless block, she's just gonna do the regular wall. But the regular wall is minus 20. So you can always get a free punish if you read it. Because minus 20 is a very, very unsafe move. So that's like the main mind game of the string. If she, if you think she is gonna do the wins, just flawless block it and, and up to as quickly as possible. And if you think... If she thinks that you're gonna flawless block and she's gonna do the wall, uh, then just be ready to flawless block the amplified and get a punish. Or read the non amplified and get a punish like that. It is a mind game in the end, so you won't guess it right every single time, but yeah. Knowing about it will make you more likely to get the punish. If she decides to stagger Thor to 3, uh, it actually becomes unsafe. It is minus 10, so if you read it that she's not gonna ca special cancel into any special move at all, you can get a free punish. A quote unquote safe option of the forward 2 string is simply doing forward 2 into the winds. It looks like it has no gap, but if it's based max range, it actually makes the first hit of the winds whiff and leave a gap for you to punish her. Either with a poke or with a mid, it's totally up to you. Obviously a mid is better. If your throw range is decent, you can also just grab her and get a punish like that. You can also just flawless block and get a punish like that. Keep in mind that this has to be max max range. A forward to free string also has a mix up that you're gonna come across pretty frequently when facing her. She can do forward to free into either the overhead or she can do forward to free into the low move called ground point. There is actually a way you can beat both options. You have to block high and react to the ground point animation. Even though the setup is pretty similar, it actually works if you focus and the ping is pretty low. That means you won't get hit by this mix up anymore and you can always punish her. So always block high, just react for the animation of the ground pirate. Animation is very slow and predictable. But there is no reason now to get hit by this unless the ping is very very high. Whenever she cancels the ground pirate, she is actually minus 4 and loses 1 defensive meter. So that means it's your turn again to press as long as the, your button is fast enough. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to know about the forward 2 string. Whenever she cancels a forward one free into the winds, it actually has a flawless blockable gap, so make sure to punish it. The same thing counts for back free. Just be mindful that she can use all the gaps to her advantage and stagger you in a better way. She can also special cancel all of her pokes into the winds or the wall. 
down one and down three. I actually have a seven frame gap, so you can just press out of it. You don't need to hold it. Some characters, however, have a short range down one, so they can't reach it. If you can't reach it, you can walk up and flawless block. So there are still options you can do. You can also just press it down free. When it comes to down for wins, it actually pushes you that far away that it's the same thing as with down free against Robocop at least. The only way Robo can punish it is with either uh, a dash up flawless block or a back dash mid. This has to be very tight and you gotta be very precise with that. Let's just make sure to practice that. This is something that works pretty much all over the cast. You just have to figure out your character's options. However, whenever the Cetrion starts noticing that you're punishing her with down 1 wins, down 3 wins, and down 4 wins, she's gonna start doing pokes into wall. So now we're gonna try and backdash and punish the wins, but the wall is gonna catch you. That means you have to read it and then punish it. Usually you have to dash in between the amplified and then flawless block so you can get a clean punish. The wall mind game still exists there, whether she's gonna amplify it or not. Just try and flawless block it and be ready to take your turn back whenever you see that she's not amplifying it at all. And when she has conditioned you enough, uh, by a down 4 wall, she can go for a down 4 into the grab, which is gonna mentally hurt you as well. <laughs> Something you shouldn't do too much against Cetrion is jumping at her randomly. She's one of the best anti in the whole entire game. A jump one, a uh, standing one hits you on an insane hitbox. So getting anti leads you back to the same situation you were before jumping. You're in the same loop again where you have to guess over and over again. So you're just mindful about jumping and don't abuse it too much. Sometimes you have to jump but just don't make it too predictive. Her down 4 also low profiles most jump ins easily. She also has an insane air tier jump too. Against characters like Jackie this is really useful, same as Cabal. So getting hit by this will lead to some damage too. Or pressure on knockdown. She has an anti air for every angle imaginable. So it almost doesn't matter from what, what angle you're trying to jump with her, she's gonna anti air you. When it comes to her zoning, she has probably one of the best zonings in the entire game. Also, good anti zoning with her air teleport, which is pretty quickly and very hard to punish. However, if you make the read, you can punish the teleport. Just very hard, especially online, but it's not impossible. Basically her zoning is, is, she tries to frame trap you all the time and then hit you with a down or free or health wrath. Hitting you with a health wrath with down or free allows her to cancel it into down or free again that basically jails so you have to hold it whenever, whenever you get hit by a health wrath. So the best way to approach her zoning is to just walk in slowly and flawless block whatever she throws at you so you can corner her. And then when she teleports out, either make the read on the close teleport or make the read on the far teleport with some long range button or projectile. When it comes to the matchups, she does very very good against most of them. There are only a certain few that I think do good against her or even win, potentially. Mainly what I would say is that Sub-Zero wins against her. His stun free and slide and anti-zoning makes the matchup pretty pretty rough for Cetrion. I can almost see it being a 5-5, but the damage difference and the way Sub-Zero can just enforce his game plan, in my opinion, makes it a 6-4 for Sub-Zero. Other good picks against Cetrion are Cabal, Kano, Fujin, Liu Kang, Joker. Actually, I don't know about Joker, probably not. Possibly spawn, I would say, because of his range and just overall damage. But yeah, she destroys everybody that can't really get in or contest their zoning like Jax, Baraka. Yeah, she just destroys them. Kotal is also a very good character against her, probably one of the best. Jade does very good against her too. And yeah, it's pretty much it. 
very good meaning that it's a, it's an even fight, I would say. I don't know who actually wins against her besides Sub-Zero. But yeah, that's just my opinion. People say that she might beat Sub-Zero, but I think he really beats her. So you can't really make a big mistake picking Cetrion, even against the quote-unquote bad, bad matchups that she has, like Sub-Zero. Oh, uh, Cabal. She's gonna do decent enough. In the end, a character can only carry you to a certain degree. After that, it all becomes player skill, in my opinion. There are quite a few character-specific attacks against Cetrion that mostly deal with her for 2 string. For example, Jackie can do the Bionic Kicks to get a trade and be actually plus and get a full punish like that if the Cetrion presses. You can get an up was Light and win the trade by 5%. Which is actually a very good deal for him. Like, he should take that. The thing is, though, she... It pushes Cetria on full screen, so if she has a life lead, this might not be the best thing to do. Because then she's just gonna zone you to death. But it's a good option nonetheless. 100%. And if you're gonna 6 frame down 1, uh, you can just interrupt her wins by itself and get a punish like that. So every 6 frame jab character can get a punish and interrupt the wins at least. Which is pretty huge in the matchup to be honest. It makes her go more for the rock wall or just stagger the, the string itself which both are punishable options. Alright, to put my final thoughts on this play, you have to take a certain amount of risks. Let it be calculated. Don't always mash after she hits you with her uh, rent wall or rock wall. Just do it uh, the way she wouldn't expect expected you to do it, you know what I mean? She don't mix it up a lot, so she has to think as well when fighting you. And she doesn't just get away with her basic autopilot gameplay. The main main thing I would suggest you to do there is to not get tilted at fighting her. Once you get tilted against her, it's pretty much game over. Because she has so many tools to make you even more tilted after that. So just keep a cool head and don't let it get to you. No matter how frustrating it seems, there's always a way to be there and to find a gap or like an opening. Learn all the tools I showed you in the video and try to apply them as well, fighting her. Only that way you will have a solid chance and a consistent chance against her. Without the right knowledge and mindset, it's gonna be a very very hard fight for you. That's pretty much all the advice I could give you when fighting her. Everything that's most important was in this video already. So if you need to rewatch it a couple times, just make sure to do it. And eventually you will get the hang out of it and be able to beat her consistently. And if you still have any questions left for the matchup in general, you can ask me on Twitter or on my Twitch stream as well. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment below if you thoughts. Thanks for watching and buff Satrion.